Hello friends, by this video I'd like to share to you one uh, materials about um, adverbs and adverb phrases. Okay, uh, an adverb or ADV for short is another word category. Um, as far as meaning is concerned, adverbs often add information in relation to circumstances of manner, time, or place. Um, in other words, they answer the questions of how, when, or where. Okay, adverb phrase. Um, Ken snores loudly. Okay, loudly is one of the examples of um, adverb. Okay, the baby cried continually. Continually, that is another example. And then they published internationally. Okay, friends, mostly that you can find from um, the indicators of adverb is ended by li at the end, mostly, okay, but not all, um, not all of the adverbs um, must be ended by li. Now, let's continue to these types of adverbs are called circumstance adverbs, okay, not all circumstance adverbs and in li, but very many, okay, uh, as in these examples you can see. This helps to make them fairly easy to spot. In these examples, the adverbs is said to modify the verbs. Okay, so the existence of uh, adverbs over here is to modify the verbs. For example, like can snores loudly. Loudly is uh, the modifier for snores. Okay. In other words, it works to more narrowly define the sense of the verb by telling something of the way it is done. Okay, for example, we find out that when Ken snores, he doesn't snore softly, and so on. Okay, here's the examples of the true diagram. Okay, A D V P, and then A D V, and then loudly. So as simply as that. Okay, now let's have a look at the uh, full example of the three diagrams. Okay, now we have a short or a simple uh, sentence over here. Can snore loudly. Okay, now we write down S. Now we split the S, okay, into two different ways. First is a noun phrase. Okay, second is verb phrase. Now, I'd like to uh, break down the uh, noun phrase, okay, and then uh, proper name, and then go down, that is can. Now, let's continue to the verb phrase part, okay, I'd like to split it into two parts, first is verb, okay, it is um, represented by snores. And then ADBV, I mean, and continue, and then ADV, and then loudly. Just it. It's very simple. All right, friends. Um, in some cases, you may find that um, the degree of uh, adverb or adverbial degree. Uh, may appear in a communication okay you can see that this is uh, the example of a degree there is a very okay so uh, there are two there are two um, adverbs okay very and loudly but the difference is a very is um, categorized as a degree so now let's have a look at this Actually, the degree of this uh, adverb is to give a level of loud that exists, okay, very degree, it means that it's um, highly, okay, something like that. Okay, now let's uh, break down, split the sentence, okay, non phrase and verb phrase. Okay, for noun phrase, first thing, proper name, and then can. Okay, it's almost the same as the previous one over here. For phrase, we have um, a verb and go down, snores. And this part is very interesting. Adverbial phrase, 
is divided into two parts. Okay, that is ADV. Okay, represented by loudly. But for here, it's called dig. Okay, degree. So you can write down DEG only for short. Okay, and then very so Ken snores very loudly, something like that. Uh, all right, that's all, friends, for um, uh, the material concerning on adverb and uh, adverb of degree. So later we're going to continue to the uh, adverbs that uh, modify the sentence. Okay, thank you.